the artist, Karin Larsson, is nowhere near as famous as her artist husband, Karl Larsson. However, she was one of the few Swedish female artists who traveled to Paris in the 1880s to study painting. With her girlfriends, she traveled to the small town of gres sur where artists from the Nordic countries had chosen to congregate and paint landscapes. It was there that she met Karl Larsson, and they were soon married. With her marriage, her focus on painting grew less and less, and we can see from letters to her parents that her husband was quick to praise her work as a wife and mother, but not as that of an artist. He especially praised her when she worked with textiles, such as mending or embroidery. It was in textile arts that she continued her creative expression and what she is known for today. Pieces such as Love's Rose or The Four Elements were approximately 10 years ahead of her time in their style. However, in the spirit of the turn of the century aesthetics, Karl and Karin Larsson also painted their own plates. It is here that we once again see some of her exuberance in the painted form. She always does something extra. Not content with painting local flowers, she makes sure to incorporate insects as well, just as she did on the frame for one of her last paintings. She added a butterfly to the frame as well as a branch with cherry blossoms. To one of her plates with a foxglove flower, she added a similar style butterfly. Plates were ordered and came in plain white. The red lines along the edges of the plates were added by the individual painter, and even there we can see Karin Larsson's use of strong color. The flowers she chose to depict were ones that she would have seen on a daily basis in her garden. Karin was a keen gardener, and we often see the results in paintings made by her husband. Her early paintings were very much student work, following in the footsteps of her teachers. As she did not keep painting for long enough to develop her own artistic language, it is in her textile art that we can see her true expression. However, these plates, with their bold design, gives us a hint of which direction her painting would have gone in, if she had had the opportunity to continue to develop in that field. Nevertheless, her textile art and the home she created stands as a testament to her creativity. This home in Sweden is now a museum, and my thanks go to the head curator who allowed me to come in early and photograph the plates.